national security. In other words, there's a lot more videos like these, but clearer, better, more informative to what those Navy pilots and sailors were seeing, but we are not going to see the video. It's out there, the video, just like the UFOs. Joining us now, Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett. Uh, Congressman, good to see you. You kind of called this, right, that they know a lot more than what they let on during those hearings? Yeah, we got hosed during those hearings after the hearings were over. That's what I told the press. Um, you know, the, the most technologically advanced nation in the world, and they show a, this weak video that, um, and they couldn't even stop a 23 second video to show us one, uh, two or three frames. Uh, the whole thing is bogus. They're just going to brush it over, and then they're going to say, oh, we're going to, uh, it's national secrets, national defense. Look, and they're supposed to, they're not going to release the Kennedy files even you know it's supposed to be 50 years they don't trust us it's all about power and and control and right now they've got it and congress frankly is gutless that's why people like me will probably never be on the intelligence committee because i'm not going to put <laughs> uh well uh gutless or ineffective i don't know you could probably get above about 80 percent of americans agreeing with that navy statement on releasing the new ufo videos it will harm national security as it may provide adversaries valuable information regarding De department of defense navy operations vulnerabilities and or capabilities no portions of the video can be segregated for release. So is is there a way that they're just telegraphing us, hey, guess what? All this stuff is uh well, maybe our own technology and we've all just been been running around chasing our tails on this? I think we're probably reverse engineering some of it uh, because the uh the uh the enormous amounts of it that are in military installations or in, in reserved area. But you got to ask yourself. Well, so when you say reverse engineering, you mean that you think that there's stuff that has come from outer space, another planet, and then the Navy and others are working on it. Yeah. Do you believe? Do you believe Roswell was a, a weather balloon and it was reported I by? Our I don't know. I'm asking you. You're the expert. Well, I'm not the expert, but I'm telling you, they're covering it up, and it's um, uh, the, the American taxpayers should demand this from them, and it's so compartmentalized. Um, a lot of the people that are probably working on it don't even know they're working on it. similar to the atomic bomb out here at Oak Ridge uh, during the Second World War. But um, you talk to experts, I've talked to Navy pilots, they all tell me the same thing. There's something that we do not control in our own airspace. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to admit to the world that we we don't, we, we, we aren't as technologically advanced as some uh, beings from light years away. Well, of course we're not. But the point is, too, uh, if they wanted us dead, they, uh, we would be dead. Right. Well, I, no, I it, 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 that's a good point. You, you say, though, that they're reverse engineering it and working on it a little bit like the atomic bomb and the like. People thought about the same thing with the U-2 spy plane, right? Back, back in the 60s and 70s, people called in and said that that was, a, that was a UFO. They'd never seen anything like it, never seen anything that flew so high. It'd show up on civilian radars and then disappear. Kind of the same deal. And it, it was our technology. No, it, it, no, nowhere near the same deal. It was things that defy... I mean, it, it defies all laws of physics. It can, there is no friction. There is no uh, exhaust trail. It, it is not slowed down when it goes in water, when it goes in air. It is not slowed down. It can do a 90 degree angle, which would turn you or me into literally a catch up package. And they, uh, it, it is definitely out of this world. And it's something that I don't think we can control yet if we have parts of it in our, but I do believe. I just believe it. I mean, it's there's no. there's. Let me, let me, how how are we going to get the truth? If the Navy won't release get, the videos, Congress won't do anything. You're not going to get yeah. on the Intel Committee. How are we going to uh, get the you, truth? If you think Congress is going to grow, uh, get some guts. I say. <laughs> and they're, they're, what they'll do. Here's what they do. They always do this when they don't want you to comment on it. They say, "Oh, let's have a classified briefing," and then you rush in there, and then they tell you, and then. You are, you are restricted not to discuss that. Even if it's something you already knew before, you can't discuss it. It's a trap with these so-called classified briefings. Generally, they're, they're a bunch of garbage anyway, um, showing a bunch of gutless politicians hiding behind a desk somewhere that, that nobody can touch. And that's exactly what's going on with this. But I do believe that, that some of our industry, there's probably four or five um, major corporations that do have some of this technology, and they're using it to reverse uh, reverse engineer, but all, in cooperation with our government, because there's just too much out there, and there's too many uh -huh. sightings. It's historically prevalent. It's it, it's on um, hieroglyphics. It's in 
uh, paintings from the dark ages. I'm a Christian. I read my Bible. Ezekiel saw the wheel. Read the first chapter of Ezekiel. Hmm. Grant, they're talking about the most technologically advanced thing at that time that they're comparing it to, and that is a wheel. So you have to Here kind of extract that. And the fact that it was um, King James translation from from um, hey. from old writings, but I, I think. Enough people out there believe it, and I get. Uh, no, I, look, you know, you, we, we put the polls up. Sixty-five percent believe in alien life. Eighty-five, uh, eighty-seven believe USOs are not a security risk. Obviously, sure. uh, the Navy sees it differently. Hey, it's good to see you, Congressman. As always, unfortunately, we got to run. I could talk to you all day about this. Thanks, brother. If you uh, go on my web, you know, I've got a T-shirt that says "More people believe in UFOs than believe in Congress," and it's my <laughs> biggest. <laughs> uh, thanks, Leila. True, true, true words, sir. It's good to see you. Thank you.